Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and a lot of you requested for me to create something on Figma to Flutter code and uh, there was another request which I saw where someone wanted if I can use AI to generate Flutter code from the Figma designs. Actually, I have a better way and uh, we will see in this video that by running some commands how we can generate the entire design code from the Figma design link. So this is going to be interesting and in future you will probably see more of these videos coming back to like probably my channel and uh, I hope you will enjoy it further. So let's go to Figma and check that how we can implement it. So this is a uh, Figma design which you are seeing on my screen. Uh, I have taken it from the community. Again, shout out to the person who has created this design. Now in this video, we are going to use Cursor AI. Uh, you can use any IDE tool. And uh, we are going to use something called MCP server. So MCP is nothing but a model context protocol. So in the case of MCP, what happens is that it works like a USB-C cable where you attach both the ports to two sides. One is ID, one is the uh, the maybe platform or the uh, service which you want to connect to. Uh, so basically, let's say my platform is cursor ID and uh, uh, or ID is cursor ID and then I'm connecting to Figma uh, or GitHub or anything like that. So MCP can work as a medium to do that. So you can also call it APIs of APIs, right? So, uh, so now we have something like a uh, github link where we can see this is a figma mcp server open source and uh, this is how you it works like um, you can use it uh, with the figma uh, this cursor id or windsurf or anything i guess and uh, this is how you can uh, install it uh, you have to write npx figma developer mcp then you have to pass your figma api key or api token so uh, you will have to go to figma i create a developer uh, application and um, get the token from there so you can either use npx pnpx yarn bunks whatever you want to do and then this is how it works. So what I have done is that I have used this uh, in my console. So this is my cursor ID. I have this basic Flutter application over here, just uh, a hello world or rather a counter application. And as you can see, I have run this command over here and it says this is your key, this is the port and uh, it is listening to localhost, right? Now how you will connect with this MCP server, if you'll go to the cursor settings from here, I think this is the cursor settings, right? And uh, here you will find all these options. Here you have to select this MCP option and now you can create uh, or add a new MCP server. So I'll click here. I can give it a name, let's say Figma server. Before that, let's copy this URL from here, uh, this SSE URL. So here I can call it, let's say Figma server, the type would be SSE. I think it uh, stands for server side events and you can paste the URL over here and you'll click on add. Now, once you do that, you can see that it says a green signal, which means that the server is running and it has certain tools like get Figma data. So it can get all the Figma data using the API and it can also download Figma images. So because it can download Figma images, so it can also download all the assets for you, like the fonts, images, icons, whatever. So that's a very good thing to do. And now uh, what we have to do, let's say we want to, so here you can see that in my Figma design, I have a couple of login UIs, right? We can try with multiple UIs. So we have to see first of all, how pixel perfect it would be, because I'm not really sure that uh, how good it would be, but I'm assuming that it should be good enough or maybe in future you will see even a better version. So there are F uh, Figma to Flutter plugins as well, but unfortunately those plugins does not work very well uh, or the code quality is not good, especially if you will try to install those plugins to your Figma developer environment. So I'm not a fan of it. I don't use it. So let's try this method and how close we can get. So again, one more disclaimer is that the code which it is generating for Flutter might not be the same which it will generate for other platforms. So for example, for web, it might create a better code or it might uh, create pixel perfect code. Uh, on Swift UI, it could be different. So you can try with various platforms. Uh, this tutorial will work for all of these. I'm just trying for Flutter because I'm assuming that most of you are from Flutter background. So let's say we take the middle one as an example and then I will right click here and I will use copy slash paste as and copy link to selection. Okay. And uh, 
so basically now i'll go to my cursor chat here i guess uh, this is the chat window and i can ask it that can you create pixel perfect ui okay ui4 and i'll paste the url here okay and i'll also tag my design rules so i have added some custom rules for uh, design specific thing if you want that follow me on instagram at the rate power dot app and dm me that you want that link i'll share with you so uh, what is design rule is basically that you have to write pixel perfect ui you have to validate font and all these kind of things right so now i'll click on send and let's see what it does so it is trying to generate so it says i'll create a pixel perfect implementation of, of the figma design you provided so it want me to give the access to uh, get the figma file so i'll run this tool which is get figma data again if you are in yolo mode you don't have to do it manually it will automatically do it uh, so this is the first thing it will do it will again ask me one more time to download uh, if it needs to download something so it is still uh, it is showing some key of the file um, and again it is using figma apis by the way so there is nothing magic as such happening if the overall process is a magic but uh, at the end of the uh, end of the day it is all code and uh, uh, a normal practice to do so it says here on the uh, i can see in the terminal that it has successfully fetched the mobile screen uh, template which is the correct one uh, i'm assuming that why it has stuck sometimes it does not work so what you can do is um you can rerun it or resume it and uh, see that if there is some issues cancel and resume it is trying to do something not sure so again guys this is again in a very early phase so you can face these kind of issues uh, let's try to stop and send again so what i'm trying to do is like sometimes the servers are heavy uh heavy loaded which means a lot of people are trying to do uh something similar so we get all these kind of issues for some reason uh it is stucking here called mcp tool it's not doing much here let's wait for a while if we can get something over here and maybe our connection is broken or something like that no i think connection is working we can uh check our settings cursor settings mcp and uh, we can let's say disable and enable it um and then let's retry so it is able to fetch the screens oh okay now it is asking uh to get the structure sometimes it does not work i mean it's a normal thing and now it is asking now i'll create a directory images/login which is fine i mean it can create and it is now asking to download the key images for the design so that is fine now it is asking me to run this another tool which is download figma images right which is again fine this was expected and you can see that it will download these assets for me in the assets folder the images so i can see a facebook icon fingerprint and a lot of things like that it is going to pubspec.yml and it will be uh downloading something maybe adding some package or something like that so uh, again it is adding necessary fonts and assets for our design so i can see that it has added some fonts over here and a folder for the login as well and now it is asking me if i want to let it make a directory called fonts which is already there i guess so it will add these things and now it is asking me to create new uh, folders like widgets and all and now again uh, i'll run this which it says command not found w g e t okay so basically it will also suggest me that um, how i can fix it now it is downloading all these things and uh, it has also added some of the more fonts okay it's still doing some changes here and there um which is fine i mean i'm okay with that and now it is creating app theme so in the asset section we can see couple of fonts here uh in the images slash login we can see certain svgs right now and let's see how much closer it goes to the actual design but the good part is that we will also see the code quality which it generates 
and then if even if it is trying um hard and uh, it is able to achieve let's say 70% of the design i would be very happy because then i can do minor adjustments here and there and uh, maybe i can get that design working also if you are following a specific component structure then it will try to uh, you know use that rather than creating everything from scratch so that's also a very good part and the most important part for me is that the code quality has to be good it does not need to be similar to what we get from figma to flutter plugin kind of thing so uh, that's how it is different right by the way you might have that question so now um, it is generating some buttons and i let me just look at the lib folder um, because here we will see a lot of uh, these things what it is doing so we have a constants we have a screens we, i didn't have anything in this uh, it is right now writing theme and widgets so it has written a lot of widgets already in screens right now it is writing this login underscore screen again you can play with a lot of ui and as you can see we are trying to generate this middle ui right which is not very straightforward it is a little bit complex in terms of uh, how it is like made right i am not really sure if it is it will be able to do this kind of clipping of the background but um, let's see let's see how much it is able to achieve it has created this login screen as well and now it is attaching everything with main dot dot and i can see widget flutter binding dot in show initialized preferred orientation and now it is adding flutter svg in the pub spec as well so that all these svg file works and now i think it is just giving the reference to svg files uh, whatever we have so overall it's a very good way of uh, like it's a futuristic thing obviously um, but uh, we still don't know that uh, if it will be able to give us what we exactly need but it's a matter of time right so um let's wait a little bit more again whatever is happening on this video it's all happening on runtime not clipping not trimming any part of the video so whatever time it is taking it is going to take for you as well so just be sure about that and uh, okay because i was already running the application so it is trying to do a lot of hot reloads uh, which might not be create uh, which might be creating some issue so that's why i have um, i have uh, kind of shut down the app now i'll fetch all the dependencies and then i'll run the app up again now it's also writing a readme for me by the way so it did not did not like the readme in, in general and it is just giving me the same kind of thing uh, review changes resume the conversation so after 25 tries like for example if it generates uh, like 25 times this um, the response then it ask you to try again because i mean it does not it cannot continuously do this thing unless you ask it again right so in one go it's 25 times and there are some issues which it has already identified and it is working on those issues and trying to fix uh those as well so as of now i don't see any red uh, uh red uh, mark on my screen which says that there is some issues with this i think it has done the work uh, let's go to main dot dot i'll accept all so that i can see the changes and i can see that it is saying login screen so let's run this app and see how good it is and i can see some custom buttons which is very good i think the code quality also relatively look much better than what we see there um it's a perfect uh, code i don't think any issue with the widgets at all uh constants i don't think it has used login screen looks like a stateful widget very well done uh, disposes properly disposing the email controller and uh, other things okay i think we got some issue here okay so i can see it has tried to achieve some of it guys um and uh, i don't see the icons i i don't see lot of things let let's see what it has done very well so welcome i can see it was not able to get this image so that's why the error is coming anyway so we can add the image that's fine uh, welcome is fine the message uh is fine there is some issue with the text here and there email address is fine password is fine but uh, on the original design uh, if we go here 
the the icons are on the right side uh, here the icons are on the left side and then there is remember password which is fine and forgot password here as i said it was unable to design this but in general lot of times it is able to design that so i have already seen that it can do that uh, for some of the screen and i see login and register button like this here wherever uh, in this case these are horizontally aligned and then it is like login with touch id and uh, i think it's similar to this or connect with this which we see on the top so moreover it tried to do um, some of the things well it uh, could not do a lot of things very well um, so what we can do is we can try one more time in the same panel uh, this is not pixel perfect can you recheck and fix it icons layout okay we'll tell it layout is not as per the design background clipping is not there and uh, uh, text field icons are on the right side so something like this i mean i'm trying to uh, give it some help from my side that you know the design which you created is okay i mean it's it's good uh, for the work we have done but it could be better right so um, i have given it three points generally i mean i would have wanted that i don't have to give any point and it does the job perfectly as i said it might not work very well for flutter but it might work for other platforms or other um like for example native android native swift react mostly web is much more mature for llms to work and then i mean then comes this thing so uh, it is doing this is the second time which we are trying and uh, honestly this is the last time which we are trying as well because otherwise the video will become very very long but this is just to showcase you that you know you can still like even if let's say it is not able to give you the perfect design first time you can ask for help from the same llm that you know this is what i want please fix it so that's what it is trying to do now let's see if it makes it better or worse because that is also possible uh, sometimes ai uh, agents hallucinate a lot so that is something which i am a little bit concerned about here that it may cause or cause something like that also there is one more problem uh, on the original design if you see i don't know what is the designer want to do whether he wants to give this uh, bluish background or uh, it just to display i think he wants to give this blue background because on the right side this is even more complex uh, background i think we can try implementing it in the next video um, but yeah it let let it fix this one first and also let me know in the comments how you are enjoying this vibe coding series i hope you are enjoying it again if you want the cursor rules follow me on instagram at the red pavan dot app and uh, i'll uh, give you the design rules there and uh, if you're not following me on twitter i at the red i am the pk you can follow me on twitter as well you will find all the links in my description of this uh, channel okay now it is saying that i can run the command and it is good to go let's do a hot restart if it can fix these issues okay it has done some sort of fixes which it is saying let's do a hot restart okay let's play because there is some issue with this as well okay i see <laughs> actually i don't see anything i see the similar result the only thing is that it has fixed some pixel issues which was happening and uh, apart from that i think now it is look much better in terms of the background looks much better uh, this looks much better but i again the clipping is missing but overall i think it has tried to do a little bit of justice i won't say it's still perfect but again uh, there is some work you as a developer has to do otherwise you'll lose your job anyway so i hope you enjoyed this video if you did press the like button subscribe to the channel let me know your thoughts in the comments and i'll see you next time take care and keep coding